Okay, here's a quick video of a ball mill that I made. Um, my Harbor Freight one messed up, so here's the drum, which I'm sure a lot of you recognize from the Harbor Freight one. These are just the little uh, roller wheels off of the storage bins like those right there. Um, those you can get at Walmart and stuff like that. I 3D printed a little holder. It's just a little bracket holder. Um, and this is the DC motor out of the old drill. <clears throat> and then I used this, which I didn't really need to do. Um, but I used that off of my old fall mill from my uh, Harbor Freight one. So essentially how it works is just load up the, the jar and just kind of put the rubber band on there for now. This is just for testing purposes. Obviously, I've already ordered some more stuff so I can actually use it. Um, I do have a speed controller coming in. So for now, I'm going to be using this little battery pack just to kind of test things out. Um, just kind of hook it up right here like this. I have a switch on here, so I'm going to go ahead and activate the switch. And as you can see, as you can see, it spins pretty fast, but once I get the controller, I'd be able to control the speed. Um, but yeah, I mean, to get really good black powder, you usually want about 80 revolutions per minute, um, 90, something like that. So this one should be able to get me what I need. Uh, obviously, with the weight of the lead and the black powder, it's going to be a little heavier. I don't know if this rubber band will work, but I can get a thicker rubber band or, you know, a drive belt off of an old vacuum or something. Test it out. Anyways, this is a quick video of how I made my ball mill. Um, Alright, thank you for watching.